Today, I'll show you how to put together this braided card that I call Maple. Hi guys, this is Omar for Awesome SVGs, and today I'm bringing you another braided card. I recently learned that these are also called fold and tuck cards. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So the file preparation is very simple. You just need to change the operation for the scoring lines. Um, so they are scored instead of cut on the card basis. So for that, click on the whole thing and click on ungroup and you will have two different cards, the shaped card and the square card. Once you ungroup each of them, select the layer that it has a fuchsia color and change the operation from basic cut to score. That will turn that cut line to a score line. And then you need to attach that score line to the cut line underneath. So click on both layers and click on attach. Next, prepare the shaped card. So ungroup it first and select the score layer, which is the uh, fuchsia layer. Make sure fuchsia is selected and next to that basic cut operation. Change that basic cut operation to score and then attach that scoring line to the underlying cut layer. With both layers selected, click on attach and then you'll have all your pieces. Click on make it to make sure everything is okay. Here you see the scoring lines attached to the cut lines. And here are your contrasting panels. Next, cut your pieces and start assembling. Here are all the pieces that you're going to need. There are three pieces for the shaped card and two for the square cards. It's a good idea to use a toothpick. I like this folding method because it gives you a nice kind of like rounded edge on each fold. It's very simple to do and it gives the card a little bit more of a uh, volume and a 3D effect. So put that toothpick right on the edge of the cut and then uh, fold the cardstock on top of that toothpick. Here's a close up. So lift the element to be folded, kind of wrap it around that toothpick and give it a rocking movement back and forth. And that will create that nice rounded edge on each of the folds. This will give it a nice 3D effect to each of the flaps. Once you have it folded, lift the bottom petal from the previous um, element and tuck that flap underneath to secure it in place. There's, there's no need to use glue or anything, just tuck it underneath. Um, I like this method and I like the shimmer that this cardstock gives. This is Nina Metallics. This is the um, white silver color that uh, Nina uh, Metallics from the Creative Collection has. So keep folding each of the flaps and tucking them underneath the previous fold. Once you have everything braided, attach that contrasting panel. So flip the card over and feed that contrasting panel through each of the corner slots that you see there. Make sure the corners are fed through the whole way through. Next, fold the card base in half. Use a bone folder to make that crease very sharp and you're pretty much done. I used a gemstone. This is a uh, flower shaped gemstone. Because it's plastic, it's not a good idea to use a water-based um, adhesive. So I used a double-sided adhesive dot. For the shaped card, the method is exactly the same. 
start with one of the flaps and keep folding around and tucking the flap underneath the previous fold. Keep doing that all the way around. Once you reach the final flap, you will attach the contrasting panel and you will need glue for this. I like to use a water-based glue. This is um, Ranger Multimedia Matte. It's a great glue for this. The applicator makes it very easy to apply on um, the very thin edges of the card. Apply a little bit on the center. There's no need for this, but I like uh, to apply a little bit on the center so it doesn't lift. Make sure all the edges are completely adhered to the contrasting color panel. For that, I like to use a bone folder and run it through all the edges and also the center. This bone folder has a nice rounded um, end that is great for this. Now to attach the card base, fold that um, back of the card base uh, following the score line align it with the front of the card and glue them together. Because this cardstock has a nice metallic finish on both sides, it really doesn't matter which side you uh, choose to apply the glue on. But if you're using a one-sided uh, finish cardstock, make sure to use the correct side. Now I tried different embellishments for the card. I tried rhinestones of different colors um, but finally, I decided to use this big um, gemstone. Um, I had to remove a little edge that was a little bit off there. You can use a craft knife or a nail file or whatever you have at hand. Because it has a plastic back, you will need to use some double-sided um, tape for this. Make sure no tape um, extends outside the limits of that gemstone. And I use my craft knife to put it in place. Give it a good press and you are done with both cards. Now these are very nice cards. I hope you like them. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Here are a couple more videos that you could be interested in. Remember that you can download this file for free at my blog at www.awesomesvgs.com. Have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.